Hey y'all, I'm Carolina Tony. The road brings us to Hartsville, South Carolina to Yogi Bear Honey Fried Chicken. The last Yogi Bear Fried Chicken in the world. And we're gonna go inside and get some chicken and learn a little bit about the history of Yogi Bear Honey Fried Chicken right after this station identification. So Yogi Bear Honey Fried Chicken started in the early 1960s by a restaurateur named Gene Broom. He came up with an idea to infuse honey into fried chicken. And it caught on and became famous all over North Carolina and South Carolina. This place is normally crowded so I particularly picked this time of day to come when it's not quite as crowded. And there's old Yogi himself. Now, Mr. Broom, he had worked out a deal with Hanna Barbera, the owners to the rights of the name Yogi Bear, to be able to have the name on his restaurant. There's some of the boxes of the chicken. They're gonna fill them up with chicken here in a little bit, and they're back there busy right now fixing chicken. Okay, Miss Debbie got a boo boo snack, and on the back of the box here are some questions, trivia. What was the name of the park that Yogi lived in? Yellowstone. Who was always chasing Yogi around the park? Ranger Smith. What was Yogi's all-time favorite catchphrase? Better than the average bear. And I've got a Cindy Bear box. And it is loaded with... Now, what you do is you can get these little cups of honey and you take the honey and drizzle it over the chicken. And you don't know this, but this is some good chicken. Here beside the highway in nowhere North Carolina. After the restaurants closed down, A lot of the Yogi Bear signs were repurposed, such as this one. It's pretty neat. If you look real close in his hand, I'll zoom in on it for you. Those two holes. Those two holes that are in his hand is where the drumstick was attached. If you were traveling back in the day across the Carolinas and you didn't have your picnic basket, you could always stop at Yogi Bear's Honey Fried Chicken. These signs have been restored. Well, they're not actually signs, but they were signs to beckon people to Come and get chicken. These are near Nashville, North Carolina. Are actually some of the only ones left in existence. And I for one love Yogi Bear honey fried chicken. Finger licking good? Nah, that's not the logo. Better than the average bear. At some point in time, I'm not really sure when, the food giant Hardee's 
decided that they wanted Yogi Bear fried chicken and they bought it for $1 million. They didn't really want it for the chain. They wanted it for the process of infusing the honey into the chicken. Soon after purchasing it, the franchises slowly began to disappear. And the one in Hartsville is the last one. And I'll tell you, after just finishing that chicken, it's about a 30 minute drive for me to come get it. It is delicious. French fries are off the hook. And you get little buckets of honey to pour over it to make it even better. Sticky fingers, but it is awesome. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a big old thumbs up. Be sure to tell your family and friends. But until next time, y'all have a good day.